welcome to today's video. This is how to set up the Philips G7000 that are also the Magnavox Odyssey 2 emulator. This is on Android. So a few things you're going to need first. Of course you're going to need your ROMs. So to do that it's just a quick, I can't tell you where to go, but it's a Google search. Just type in G7000 or Magnavox, Philip, uh, Magnavox Odyssey 2 full ROM set. Once you've done that, download it. The next thing you're going to need is this file manager. Top one here. There's a few, but I prefer this one. Once you've downloaded that, because that is vital, you need that. Then you need BIOS. This is important. It won't run without this. So, same again, type in on Google. Philips G7000, Magnavox Odyssey, BIOS. This is the one there. That's the one you're looking for. Once you've got that, it will it will go in your downloads. So you've got your file manager. So you open up your file manager. There's your ROMs. And there's your BIOS file. But the next thing is open up this. There's the games. And then you need to move these. Have into your main storage and your SD card. I've already got my there, but that's when you paste it there or there. So that's done. Now, if you haven't got RetroArch, look at my video how to set RetroArch. But this is video is on if you've already got it how to set because some of these emulators they already run. You just with some emulators on RetroArch, you need BIOS files. That's why I'm doing this video. So the next thing you need to do. You need to move this. You go to your main storage. And you're looking for RetroArch. Open this up. Go to Systems. And paste it there. Right, that's done. So you've got your ROMs. You've got your BIOS file. You've got RetroArch. Like I said, if you've not got RetroArch, I've done a video on how to set RetroArch up. So, just turn the controller on. Let's open up RetroArch. Right, the next thing we need the emulator. So we go down to online updater, core downloader. And as you see, it's got me down here. Uh, we'll just click on that and it'll download. Right, so we'll come back out of there. Then you've got to find your ROMs. So we'll, like I say, if you have, put them in your SD card or your main storage. So you scan directory, storage, and there they are. I've renamed mine to that. Philip G said, "Oh, if like I say, if you download whatever it's downloaded, it's up to you what you name it." But and then you'll just click on that and scan. Right, now, like I say, I've already done this, so go back. Once you've done that, your emulator will just show up. Now, this is where a lot of people think it's... A lot of people just think it's going to kick up. It's not. It's This needs a BIOS file. Some of these emulators, they don't. But this one does. And there we have it. Had a lot of fun back in the day with this. I never owned one, but my friend did. He used to power around his house. And this one, I recommend this one. Where are we? Crazy Chase. Let's just have a quick. Right, sir. Just, it'll start. Like I say, if you want to come out of it, if you've, if you've done on my videos, it's you just use both analogs to come out. Like I say, have a look at my video on, on retro uh, setup. And if you want to go on somewhere else, there's all the ROMs. And that's it. Simple as. 
I will do a few more videos on some of these emulators. I think I'll probably do the 520 or 520. That's the same. It's a bit, there's a few bits you've got to run through. It's not as simple as a lot. Like I say, the Mega Drive, Nintendo, is simple. Right, thanks for watching. If you're at any trouble with this, just put it in the comments. I'll get straight back to you. But if you follow this video through slowly, I've not gone, I've not gone through it fast. You should be able to pick it up. Right, that's it. Remember, hit that subscribe for future videos. If there's any uh, other emulators you're struggling with, put it in the comments and I will gladly do a video on how to set them up. Right. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you later.